Hey, it's Dawn here. In this video, I'm hopefully going to help you keep everything tidy when it comes to tagging inside of ManyChat. So I generally tend to share videos because I've uh, usually done it myself and it's something that I generally tend to see a lot of other people doing too. And tagging is one of those things that if you're going to actually tag things on the fly and then you decide you're going to change a tag and you've got then multiple tags, some of them are then redundant, it gets very messy and I hopefully I'm going to help you stop and put an end to your messy tagging if that is you. Um, if not then fantastic uh, but if you are the type of person that is looking at all your tags and thinking oh my gosh this is looking a bit of a mess in here then continue watching I'm going to help you moving forward how to tidy things up and make sure that you really really understand uh, what all your tags are what they mean and how you can edit the tags instead of recreating new ones so let's dive in uh, I'm just going to take myself maybe not off camera I always find to get a bit distracted when there's a camera I'll put it at the top so if I kind of look up, so I'll keep it there just for now. We'll see how we go on with this. Um, sometimes I like to hide it away because otherwise I'm just moving it all over the place. So, as you can see here, keep your tags in order to change them of your tags. Be sure to, which is what we're going to go through, go into settings, go into tags, and then you're going to edit the tags. Okay, we're not going to duplicate any new ones. I'll show you uh, what I mean by that in a second. And because as you can see here, a tidy bot equals a tidy mind. <laughs> and uh, I absolutely have learned the hard way um, since I got started. Uh, it's something luckily that uh, I don't do anymore, but uh, it's something back in the early days. And I think it's a good reminder for people, whether you are completely brand new to building bots or whether you've been building bots for quite a while and you know yourself that you've got a little bit, you're in a rush and you've just really not kind of taken uh, good care of attention to the tags. So naming conventions as well, that's something else that we're going to go through because hopefully you won't need any of this if you actually follow this section. So first of all, what do I mean? Um, is this camera still a distraction? Right, I'm gonna keep it there, see how long I can get on with it. Uh, so inside of here, what I'm actually gonna do is, I'm going to give this a tag, um, and let me just call this, uh, I'll just call it tag uh, demo to start with, okay. So we've called our tag, what we want it to call it. And then let's say we've got a button and we want to call that. So we think, okay, we'll keep it as the same. So we'll call this one um, a tag, uh, maybe demo, but we'll call this um, just button one, just purely for this example. So what's happening is I'm going across and I'm thinking, right, okay, this is what I'm gonna tag and that's fine. But then I decide, oh, actually, do you know what? I think I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna change it to uh, maybe, demo start so i know it's the very very first start of the tag as somebody comes into the flow and then i change that and then i decide oh actually i'm going to change this one now i don't want it to be called button uh, i want it to be called um just number one or something like that so what you end up doing is you're going around and you may be changing tags and not realizing that what you're actually doing is if we go into settings so let me just go into a new page if you go into settings at the side here and you go into tags at the top. This is where all your tags are basically. So what we had there was that we had our original start and then we had, uh, sorry, we had the demo one. And then because I actually didn't come back and edit, I decided to create a new tag because I wanted it to be called something different. I've now got a different tag. So instead of having two tags, I've now got four because I changed the button and I changed the start. What you should do is, if you do decide that you do need to rename a tag, is you come into here and you edit this. So let me get rid of uh, what's it kind of on at the moment. So it's on this one here. So let's just say this is the tag that I want it to actually be. I want it to be called tag video uh, start flow. So I'm just gonna go in and do get into the habit as well of going into the top of these yellow sections here where it would generally say action and just kind of maybe make a reference to what that is uh, because as you're building bots out, it's quite good, especially if you've got lots of conditional logic and uh, lots of different uh, custom fields and tags and all kinds of things. It helps you to kind of see where that flow kind of goes so you can see 
what's happening. Uh, so that is the tag that we actually want. So instead of me coming into here, and let's just say if I was gonna put that in there, I think, right, okay, no, that's the tag we're going with. If I come back over here, I've also got another one. So now I've got three different tags, all because I changed my mind. So the way that you would do this is, let me just get rid of this one. Um, so let's just say um, I actually do want my um, tag to say, let's have a look, I'm just gonna pop back in here. Um, what we've we got here, what do we call them? Tags, I'm just gonna pull any up. Uh, we'll call this tag uh, demo. So let's just say we actually want it to say uh, tag demo and then start. So like I say, instead of doing it inside of there, we literally come into here, uh, we go into this one here, I'll just get rid of these. Uh, just one second. So we actually want it to be tag demo and I want to put start at the end of that. So instead of doing it in there, I'm literally gonna come into here and put start. And as soon as I do that, it changes everything out for me. So again, the same with this one here, I'll just shrink this down. I know it's not very clear when you see it smaller on the screen, but um, as you can see here, we've got demo one. So let's just say I actually want my tag to be this. I'd literally just copy that and decide I want to go back into here, into button one, I can get rid of the whole thing and just rename that whole thing. We go back into there and it's already renamed it. So editing tags, really, really important so that you don't end up with just this endless list of meaningless tags. And if you do go back and have a look inside of your uh, audiences or inside of your tags here, then do have a look through and think, right, okay, do I actually need that button? Um, you know, do I need that one? No, I don't because I've actually renamed it for something else. So that's how you would edit. And I, I know it's a little bit of a long winded way of showing you, but I just wanted you to kind of see the potential of how messy it can actually get. And maybe you're watching this with a smile on your face because you're thinking, yep, I do that all the time. And because I'm so busy building bots, um, I've not really thought it through. So thinking of the thought, you know, when we speak about thinking things through, I'm a massive believer in naming conventions. So what I mean by that is, depending on how many tags you've got uh, happening inside of here, rather than tagging on the fly, then I would highly recommend that you put some thought into what those tags are. So if, for example, then you need to use it inside of Zapier because you wanted to pull an email address or you wanted to pull anything out, if it just said email, you would go into Zapier and you'd be like, oh my God, which what, what does that relate to? And um, Or it could be that you're using some conditional logic and you need to use a tag. And if you don't have a solid naming convention, Again, you could make mistakes. It's very easy to make mistakes and it's um, it's just not good for the brain. I <laughs> Take it from me, it's not good for the brain. And that's when you have to like walk away from the bot and then you've got to go back again because it is just like, oh my God, what did I do? So just keeping things tidy, keeping things in order, having naming conventions and just making sure that you're not left with loads of pointless tags it's just gonna make your life easier. So again, what I generally tend to do is, I'll just move this up there because it's in the way. So what I would do is either use a sticky note or um, sometimes for clients, what I'll do is if I'm really thinking it through, I've got Trello boards for everybody, so I might map it out in Trello or get yourself a sticky note. So inside of here, it's actually called a comment. Um, I like to call them sticky notes because it basically just looks like one. Uh, so inside of here, you've got your uh, sticky notes. So I literally uh, just, so you would want to just use this um, as your, I really didn't need to write, use this as your sticky note, but I will see as I've started it. <laughs> if I can start, use this as your sticky note. So what you're gonna do there is, think about all of the tags. So this first section here, so for example here, this is a video about tagging. I'm not using tags for this, but um, this is not a flow for anything that I'm using and purely using this for demoing, but anything else that I've got, whether it's one-to-one -one mentoring or whether it's my main menu with certain things in there or whether it's for clients, depending on whatever it is that they're, um, what that very first core call to action is, that lead gen thing is, whatever that is, if it's a wedding or anything that we do for clients, I always make sure that that very, very first bit completely understand what it means. Even if it's like abbreviated and you just use, you know, wedding lead gen. So 
W L G. And if you've got more than one, then call it number one. If you've got another lead gen campaign that's going to be running, call that then number two and then have a list of, of what that actually means. And when you start that campaign, because it just means then everything that you then go and look for and whether you're tying it into CRM systems through Zapier or whatever it is you're doing, um, you're just going to be able to really understand what it is that you've done. So as you can see here, if I was going to call this uh, the video tag, uh, so it would be a uh, tag video. And then I'd give this obviously the thought thinking, right, okay, that's going to be the start of everything. Um, and if I wanted to make it shorter, I could just call it TV. So I know it's um, tag video, but I'd have a reference maybe on a Google spreadsheet or like I say in Trello, where you understand what all of that means. So you can put, you know, what the title is or the, um, the abbreviation is and just a quick description of what that flow actually involves. And again, do the same with your folders as you're creating those inside of here. So naming conventions, really, really important. And the other thing is, if you haven't quite decided on what the naming convention is going to be because you're kind of just building things out and we know that without a tag so for example in here we can't do a preview so as you can see there it says please add some action steps meaning we need a tag and you're thinking so this is another thing people do is they'll tag things on the fly because they're like oh my god i need to put a tag in and then they end up again with just messy tagging system so what i generally tend to do is i have like a building phase uh one so building phase and I would just put that in there if I just need to do a quick preview before I thought about what the tags are going to be. Uh, so anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, so this really is all about uh, keeping things tidy, editing the tags instead of creating new tags. And then in your settings as well, if you feel like there's a load of tags that you have inside, you know, you, it's like I say, I mean, a lot, most of these, they're all in use. Um, but I know I have a client account that I really had to go through when I first got going with it a few years ago. And I was like, just tag in and, you know, it's really tidy things up. So if that's you, go in, have a tidy up going forward, make sure you've got a naming convention. And if you're not using naming conventions, then do make sure that you're editing the tags instead of recreating brand new ones. And uh, yeah, just make life simple for yourself. So take care. And I look forward to sharing more videos with you here on Facebook. Also, uh, the videos are on YouTube as well. So if you want to go and check them out over there, then you can subscribe to the Rivet Media Solutions YouTube channel as well. All right, take care. Bye. In this video, I am going to walk you through. Hey, it's Dawn here. And in this video, I am hopefully 